Here we are at round two, playing against Make Peace on Earth. This guy was pretty nice, as his name would suggest. That's our opening hand. Two land, double voyages, and lightning strike. So again, we, we have what we want. A way to get pressure once we draw lands. Draw the third land, and we hit divination, and then we're, we're go. And ways to interact in the early game. I'm fine with it. Draw Traveler's Amulet. Still lead with the Wilds because we can play Amulet next turn. Okay, so he's not on Mono Black, he's on Green Black. So here... Yeah, I don't think I need to leave Strike or Avoid to end open on turn 3 against anything, so... Just lets me hit my land drops. So here... Here, I probably just play my... Oops. Play my divination. Oh no. What did I do? I played Tormenting Voice, discarding a land? What the hell was I thinking? I should have just played divination. Oh, I didn't want to discard. But that was kind of a bad play because now I only have four land in hand for this flurry. And I didn't use my mana very efficiently, so I don't really like that play that much. So now on four land, I can't really divination. I want to spend some spells. So I keep my hand equity high, meaning I don't want to discard for no reason. I mean, it's turn five and my opponent has played a 1-1. One -one. Uh, I am not doing that bad. So I figure I just need to kill it. I don't, I don't really care. I, I should have taken the one damage and see if he played anything post combat and killed that, but whatever. Uh, I had I had nullify for the fo post combat play. I guess that's why I didn't care. Ooh, so get to play the amulet, and I get to crack it. Why do they keep talking to me? For a mountain, play said mountain. Hold open nullify. Merchant, no. Flurry while he's tapped out. Yes. Take four. Flurry is very good. Injury. Injury. Oh gosh, they're so injured they f must have gotten a fight with each other. Tap land kind of sucks because we could arise of eagles. But we can divinate. Oh, we hit Treasure Cruise? Oh, is that good? I'm not sure. Okay. I should have... Uh, I should have paid two and... It doesn't matter that much, but... This let me draw and leave open Magma Spray. Uh, but I could have just... Paid two and delve six, so my future Treasure Cruises are easier, but... Look how many spells I have in hand. Treasure Cruise is not going to be a difficult card to cast, pretty much ever. So he's got a 3-3. I can kill that literally any time I want. So I'm like, okay, I'll just play Rise of Eagles. Voice, yeah, I can stay on top, most likely. He plays Eternal Thirst. Now, if he plays a removal on one of my guys and it grows to a 4-4, that's slightly annoying. Because my lightning strike just doesn't kill it outright, but I have triple voyages end, which is fantastic. He plays font, and then savage punch, kill one of my two twos. He now has a four four. Oh my gosh, and he's attacking. I guess I could have blocked, but again, I have spells in hand to answer his guy. And I don't really, my deck really doesn't have that many creatures to begin with. So I'm not really interested in trading my guy here uh, at all. So, so yeah, I should have done this on upkeep. And I didn't need to do it on upkeep because I already knew Tormenting Voice was on top. Oh, Treasure Cruise, yeah, I'll keep that. Draw two. Oh, Treasure Cruise in my hand. Draw, 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 draw. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of magma sprays. Take your two. 
he's only got two cards in hand. He's going to replay his scavenger. Um, I could lightning strike it, but then that gives him a strong incentive to pop his font next turn. And I don't really want to deal with all those guys again, even though they are kind of easy to deal with, except for merchant, whatever. I just don't want to. So instead, my line of thinking is... Just magma spray it. Then lightning strike it. So it's exiled. Then horns. Show him the horns. Take six. Or what? Hmm. I guess I can show him the horns next turn. Guess this is slightly more mana efficient. Scout the borders. These are his revealed cards. He is going to keep a creature land. Nice elvish mystic. So he pops a font, so he's got a rat and a merchant. Sweet. Now I get to horn you. Ooh, maybe I'll just play more flyers. More mana efficient. Uh, no, I don't. I know he has merchant, right? So I'm just going to nullify it. Wow, he plays another commune. Font punch, asphyxiate, wrath. So he gets a rat. Great. It's the easiest cards in the world to kill. So he's trying to like set up a big merchant next turn or something, but uh, this is not going to end well for him. We just keep, we say, oh, I'm probably just going to burn you out and play a lot of flyers and counter your merchant, and that's about that. Alright, this attack is actually kind of bad. What he's allowing me to do is remove two devotion from the game. So even if I didn't have the counter spell, yeah, merchant right now would be really bad compared to if you did it pre combat. But this game is just over, dead on board. Still had all these cards in hand. Okay. Game one, turn 13, uh, up 10 cards. Actually, I'm up way more than 10 cards. He played two spells that put five in the bin. He put 10 in the bin. So I was up like 18 cards. I don't know. Something like that. On the draw. Oh, sideboarding. Uh, he has Delve Guy, so I definitely brought in Disdainful Stroke. Negate, not relevant. Coral Barrier, not relevant. Scouring Sands, I think I brought in one. Because he does have a lot of X1 creatures, but I but they're mostly just ignorable. Um, so again, we keep getting these like two land hands. I'm running 22 lands plus two Traveler's Amulets for 24 sources of mana. So we find a red. Okay, we draw Evolving Wilds, so it's pretty good. Just got the borders. Get back Hooting Mandrels. Oh, this game is actually hilarious. Let's give it, <laughs> we gotta keep track of what I'm gonna call the monkey count. Get a blue. Alright, so I've got. <laughs> kind of bad hand here, but here comes monkey number one. Monkey. Oh, uh, he didn't want to do that. Anyway, monkey number one. Flurry, put that on bottom. Divination, perfect draw. Land? No. Discard? Uh, Rise of Eagles? Maybe a flurry? Maybe... I don't know. One of those. Lightning strike. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, he does nothing. What do I draw? Nothing good. Uh, what do I do? I either lightning strike his face or I treasure cruise for five delve. Yeah, I treasure cruise. I really want to hit my land. Don't care if I have to discard two cards. Okay, cool. If 
play Tapland, discard another Lightning Strike, and Nullify. He still does nothing, okay. Tap land, land in the play. Now I can hold open Nullify. Okay, now I can just start getting it with the horns. 17. Injury. Rat. Okay. 6 land. So now I can play Rise of Eagles. Now, I do this kind of dumb attack, hoping that he would block since it's a free block to get debilitating injury out of the devotion in play, but he, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like my taunting. Land, uh, I probably put it on bottom, but it's probably fine on top. Freakus Cure kills one of my guys, injury kills the other. Land, I guess I put it on bottom. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to play another horns and tackle everybody. And again, one of his cards trades for half of mine. He's ready. He's been waiting for this ape number two. Eternal Thirst. Alright, get that out of my game. Another Voyage's End? Don't mind if I do. Wow. Okay, so take four, go to eleven. Commune, reveals, Grey Merchant, nothing else. So what's what's coming down? You guessed it, ape number three. <laughs> ship, ship at the hand. Uh, time to go off a tormenting voice. Voice, discard voice. Voice, discard land. It's probably my next play. Nope. Uh, I'm I'm content to holding open nullify. All right. He doesn't even want this rat back. All right. All right. So ape number four, the fourth attempt. I finally kill it. All right. Here we got. Rise. Amulet to bottom. Hold open Disdainful Stroke. Fix the 8, kill one of my guys. One of his cards trades for half of my card. Voice, discard land. Tr <laughs> Cruise, draw 3. Draw land, land, divination. Uh, hold open Nullify plus Disdainful Stroke. Go to 3. Uh, commune. Get an ape back. Ape number five. Does not resolve. And that's game. So, yeah. Five apes couldn't take me down. I don't know what will.